Putting a safe autonomous car on the road is a huge technological challenge. One of the biggest hurdles is the current limitations of sensor technologies. Noam, how is Arbay Robotics transforming traditional radar technology into something so much more useful for autonomous systems? Radar is an amazing technology. It's been used in many different fields, but uh, we believe that in the automotive industry, we're just scratching the surface of what we can achieve with that. We ask ourselves, so what is the dream sensor? We didn't start it really as a radar company. We started as a company that's being focused on autonomous. And then we said, for autonomous, we need a good sensor, which is reliable and cheap and has all these amazing features. And then we decided we're gonna build a radar. So we looked on the big problem, what is really needed to make autonomous decisions. And from that, we really decided what are the specifications we need to achieve. Uh, and we realized uh, that we need to build the best radar in the world. So what are some of the advantages of the Arbe system versus the traditional radar? Traditional automotive radar were basically built for very specific use cases, like uh, adaptive cruise control or blind spot detections. And we, from day one, targeted it for a higher level of autonomy and decisions made. Those radars suffered from really low resolution and really low level of details in the output that they provide. We are able to provide a full image uh, with very high resolution, with a lot of details that can be used also in fusion with other sensors to really get a perception layer, a, a high fidelity perception of the environment around the, the platform, the car. So this is a huge amount of data you've been ingesting and processing, and at some point you figured out that it had to be done in hardware. Historically, hardware has always been better than software when properly optimized. What was that aha moment when you realized you needed to design a hardware system? When we uh, broke down the problem into small pieces, we realized it's just unsolvable in software. So uh, the amount of data that we collect and the uh, processing that we need to do, the extensive processing that is needed, is just something that software on a generic platform just cannot be done. We from day one went for a hardcore silicon right. that is optimized for radar processing. And this is really what uh, allowed to break the glass ceiling and provide in low cost and high performance uh, the next generation radar with higher performance than any other uh, uh, supplier in the market. And what's your perspective on the debate going on in the industry of radar versus LiDAR? and the pros and cons of each, and Tesla's weighed in on this, and all the big manufacturers. What's your perspective? We look on the advantages of radar, uh, uh, there are many of them. So the advantage is really that it's cheap. It's gonna be easily adopted. It's not something that's gonna increase the cost of the car too much. And it's already used in cars uh, for other applications. It has Doppler perception, so motion, it acts as a motion sensor, which is something that uh, no other sensor has. And it's unaffected by weather conditions. Right. The downside of radar is the uh, resolution and the level of details that you can get from the radar image. We believe, and this is what we did, we, that this is solvable. We can generate uh, higher resolution radar images that uh, allow perception application already on the radar. So on LiDAR- oh, And you already other, are doing that. You uh, have achieved that. This is, uh, this is what we do in the company. Yeah. This is the problem that we solve. We're trying to get that uh, radar technology has limitation and trying to- Increase the resolution to be as good as exactly. necessary for autonomous driving. Exactly. Yeah. And LiDAR on the other hand, of course, has an amazing resolution. Uh, but it has uh, a lot of downside. It's very sensitive to weather conditions. In many cases, the camera and LiDAR uh, fail in the same way. Do you think, Noam, that there's, they're mutually exclusive, or do you think that ultimately level five autonomous capabilities will have some combination of these sensors? I think it, we will go in stages. In the first stage, we will put all the sensors on the car because doing the autonomous car is extremely, extremely hard task. If you got an autonomous car that works 99% of the time, Nowhere that sucks. Near <laughs> that, that means that uh, if you're driving for 100 minutes, then you're gonna make uh, one mistake. So you have to be very alert. Once we will get to that point, where we'll get uh, reliable autonomous driving, and we need the best sensor for that, so in, in that, Time frame. It could take years. This time frame can take years. But in this time frame, we're going to see radar and LiDAR and cameras and everything working together.